Welcome back to you Learn Tutorials. Today we're going to be looking at the Spot Healing Tool. The Spot Healing Brush Tool works great on small blemishes as well as flaws. One of the key things you want to do here when you create any retouching is to create a new layer on top of your background layer. You can go ahead and go on top of your background layer and just do all the blemishes, but having a new layer allows you to go back and forth to see what it was before as well as after. To create another layer on top of your background layer, click on the icon right beside the trash can and create a new layer. Or you can also do the drop down menu, click on it want, and click on new layer. You can also right click, layer for background. So also create a new layer on top of that. Or you can also go layer, new layer, or layer for background. To access any of the retouching tools, click on J on your keyboard, or click on the two bar where it looks like a band-aid. Click and hold until you see a tear up button where you see all the retouching tools. Whenever you're using the brush tools within Photoshop, if you go and you do the drop down menu, you have the size here. You can go as high as 5,000 pixels as the brush size. Again, you don't want it too, too big. With the hardness, you can have either a hard edge or a softer edge. So if far right makes it very hard, and if very far left makes it very soft. So you can, you have to play that around with it. Uh, another thing you want to use is your content aware tool or create texture or proximity match. With the content aware, it analyzes the entire image to find the best detail to replace a selected area with seamless results. Create a texture simply uses the pixels in the selection to create a texture. Now, typically I won't use this one at all. Proximity match is simply takes the surrounding pixels and blends them together with the underlying stuff. With the diffusion, this will tell the brush how to blend with the surrounding pixels. I'm going to get started here. I'm going to use the content at Word and I'm going to make this a bit bigger. So I'm just going to use my keyboard shortcut, Command Plus or Control Plus, depending on what you're using. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go on top of my. Photoshop does all the work for you, so you don't have to do any source points or sampling here. So you just click on a spot of your retouching and let Photoshop do the work for you. To make your brush smaller, you can use a square bracket. The left square bracket is to make it smaller. The right bracket makes it make it bigger. And just go ahead and just click on your blemishes or your flaws that you have. Okay, and until then, if you're satisfied with your of your retouching, go ahead and on your on your layers, you can turn it on and off to see what it was from before as well as after. And that's it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like it or share it. And also tell people about it.